Hi, excuse me, do you know where your peanut butter and jelly is? Here we go. Okay, just about loaded up and ready to cruise. I started campus ministry because I started realizing how many young people were never in church. I was picking up young people for one of our football banquets and the bell rang and this huge sea of multiracial faces were flooding my vehicle. And I started to weep because God was asking me, who can we send? Who will go for us? And so I started working at San Diego High School. 3,000 kids are there. 90 plus percent of them aren't connected to church. And we started our campus outreach club and had a multiracial explosion of young people and kids were coming to Christ. And I started asking, okay, where do I take these kids after the bell rings? And the answer was, we wanted to get local church youth pastors placed on these campuses to become receiving youth pastors. At each of our campuses, we've set up a local youth pastor that's adopted the campus. He's there every week, brings the food in, brings the word, and then is the relational bridge into the local church from the campus. Pete, hey, Nate, I'm back. Could you send some kids up to help me unload this stuff? Today we're gonna to be visiting a club that started several years ago and then joined in with my network uh, called Urban Youth Collaborative. What we try to do is, is provide a meal so that students don't have to run all over a campus to find something to eat. So this way we provide pizzas and drinks and some desserts so that the youth pastor will come in here and pick up everything and then they'll run downstairs and grab the pizzas on their way out to the campus. Once we hit 25, we're, we're golden. Okay. FCA gives me free Bibles, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and then we're able to have a mini Bible study going on right there in the school. We also have to be able to be holistic, so we're not just giving spiritual hope in the next life, but we have to give tangible hope in this life as well. This is Chelsea and Matt Knox. They work with Young Life. And also Chelsea, Matt's wife, is the youth pastor at Northminster Presbyterian Church. So that's our local church tie. And then Darren Carrington is the youth pastor at The Rock Church. So I'm very honored to have a good team of people to work with. Well, the campus is one of the last remaining places where communities of young people gather. And in order to be like Jesus, and uh, go where the people are. He didn't wait for us to stumble into heaven. He put on flesh and blood and blue jeans and moved into our neighborhood, John 1 tells us. And he went to where they were. I started this a year ago, and now we're on 22 schools, and we have several others set to open soon. That means we're reaching 750 kids a week with the gospel of Jesus. We're hoping that continues to grow because there are so many kids that aren't connected to a church at all. We really feel like there's an opportunity to do so much more because there's actually uh, 400,000 kids in San Diego County. I'm gonna ask you a question that may blow your mind a little bit. You know who actually created sex? God, regardless of what you've done before or what's been done to you, you can make a decision today as of 1215 to wait. So as a campus minister, we get to be incarnational with kids that otherwise wouldn't hear the message. If we don't get the message to them, they're never going to hear about it. So instead of waiting for them to come to us, we are going to be incarnational like Christ and leave our comfort and security and go to them.